You know, kids, no one ever prepares you in life for how much work is going to suck. I'm Mark from North 7 Outdoors, and welcome to another night of Tuesday Night Tackle Talk. Okay, guys, so today I'm going to ask you guys for some advice. Pike season is right around the corner. I'm absolutely sick of not using the boat. Uh, in two months, less than two months, pike season will be open. I want to maximize my time on the water catching nothing but pike. Where I live, there is a lake that has pike, muskie, and bass. So what I want from you guys is give me some tips on what lures to throw strictly for pike to maximize my percentage of getting some pike. So here are some lures I'm going to throw. Let me know which one you guys recommend, which one to stay away from. I don't know, I'm not a pike expert, but I'm hoping to gain some knowledge. So the first lure I want to throw is the duck. So the duck's made by Savage Gear, which is a European company, and it's actually, I believe it was designed for topwater pike. So I'm hoping to get a big pike on this. This swim bait might be a little too big. I think maybe I should downsize this swim bait, but I do have a large Savage Gear swim bait that I would love to get a trophy pike on. The uh, River to Sea S Waver, a sweet little glide bait, can go over some vegetation. Uh, Stoko, where I live, has a lot of submerged vegetation, so I'm hoping this stays above the weeds there. Whopper Plopper, I know this works for pike. I've caught pike on it. I've also caught some big muskie on it, so I'm wondering if maybe the duck is a better option. And lastly, we have the Rapala Husky Jerk. Uh, I have another size that's slightly bigger. I'm not sure where it is. Probably on the wall somewhere. Um, this is a staple for pike fishing in Ontario, so I'm thinking this might be my best option. And the other option I have is getting a MEPS inline spinner. I believe those things are notorious for working with pike, so let me know what your favorite lure is and what one I have the best chance of getting a pike on. Okay guys, so now that we've got that wrapped up, um, yeah, so I am really missing bass season. I'm like going through withdrawals, having a hard time sleeping, bass season this, bass season that. Who has a YouTube channel, a fishing YouTube channel of that? Uh, I would love to watch some more fishing YouTube videos. Uh, so let me know if you guys have a YouTube channel out there because I'm getting pretty bored of not bass fishing. So give me some more content to watch. And lastly, who wants to go fishing with me? Yes. So I live in Tweed, Ontario, right at number seven there, right on Stoko Lake. So big musky, big, big pike. I don't know. Big musky anyways. Bass kind of... Nah, it's not really known as Bass Lakes. More known as a musky and crappie lake. Um, but if you live in Ontario, you can get your way to Tweed. We should go fishing this summer. Uh, let me know. Uh, I have a truck and a bass boat, and I'm not sure what my time looks like. You know, I'm trying to catch 3,000 bass this year, so it means I'm going to be on the water a lot this summer. I've got to catch more bass than any other Ontario YouTuber before I grow up and have another life or something or responsibilities all that junk um so if you live in ontario you can make your way to tweed we should go bass fishing so let me know uh try and plan this out anyways that was a tuesday night tackle talk again let me know what your favorite lure was and what your favorite lure that you have for pike is and thank you guys for watching and take care